Introduction to Gravitational Potential Energy Equations by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. It's possible to work out gravitational potential energy stored in an object. This is done using the following equation, where E equals m times g times h, where E is the gravitational potential energy stored in the object, m is the mass of the object, g is the gravitational field strength experienced by the object, and h is the height, the height above the ground. We're going to go through this worked example. So the bird is stood on the ground. We need to work out the gravitational potential energy the bird has. So to do that, this 1.3 kilogram bird is stood on Earth. So the mass of the bird is 1.3 kilograms. The mass is always in kilograms. What is the gravitational field strength acting on the bird? Well, that's going to be 9.8 newtons per kilogram because that's the gravitational field strength on Earth. The bird is zero meters above the ground. It is on ground level. So to work out the gravitational potential energy stored in the bird, you will multiply the mass, which is 1.3 kilograms, times the gravitational field strength, which is 9.8, and then you multiply that by the height, that is zero. So if you multiply those numbers together, you're going to get the gravitational potential energy stored in the bird will equal zero joules. The gravitational potential energy will equal zero joules. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The bird goes for a fly. We can now work out its new gravitational potential energy stored in the bird. And we use the equation from before. The gravitational potential energy stored in the bird equals the bird's mass times the gravitational field strength it is experiencing times by the height it is above the ground. So the mass doesn't change. The mass is still 1.3 kilograms. Again, we haven't changed the gravitational field strength acting on the bird so the gravitational field strength is still 9.8 newtons per kilogram. However, what does change is the height. The bird is now 17 meters above ground level, which means that we now multiply the mass, which is 1.3, times the gravitational field strength, which is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, times 17 meters. That will give you the gravitational potential energy stored in the bird at this height for this mass, at this gravitational field strength of 216.58 joules. The bird flies a little bit higher. The bird is now 23 meters above ground level. So to work out the new gravitational potential energy stored in the bird, you do 1.3 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram for the gravitational field strength. But now you multiply those two numbers by 23 meters, and that will give you the gravitational potential energy stored in the bird of 293.02 joules. So as you increase the height experienced by a mass, you are going to increase the gravitational potential energy stored in that object. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.